I'm Ligia Ricciardi with Carium. I'm the Chief Transformation Officer, and I am here at the Digital Health Summit at CES 2020. And I have the pleasure of interviewing Mike de Catalar, who's with IMEC. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me here. So um, tell us a little bit about IMEC. What kind of company is it? Well, IMEC is basically an uh, R&D company that works together with uh, other B2B companies in order to find innovative solutions around nanotechnologies and other digital solutions. Okay, so do you work in the, obviously you're you know, um, involved to some extent with artificial intelligence as well as developing smaller new technologies. Tell me how that kind of plays into your work. Yeah, absolutely. As we are an R&D company, we always look forward. You know, what's next to come? The nice next five to years and ten years yeah. to come. And AI is not new. But so what we're doing in AI, we are looking at more energy efficient ways to run AI. You know, because you know the limitations of AI right now is that very right, energy consum uh, consuming. You know, sending backwards and forwards data to the cloud, crunching it there with yes. big algorithms, etc. In fact, it's it's using two percent of the CO2 emission is caused by AI. Really? So, yeah, it's absolutely like this. And if we continue like this with all the IoT devices, it's actually going to go up to 20%, you know, over to, uh, in 2030. So and that, that's got to stop. So we have to find smarter ways to do that. So that has an energy cost, but I imagine it also has a cost in terms of time. Time and also privacy. Yeah. You know, sending backwards and forwards data, it's called a privacy cost, it's called a latency cost. If you have to make a decision right now, right here, you don't have the time to send backward and forward that data. You also have connectivity issues sometimes. Yeah. You know, if you're in an area where there's no connectivity, the way that AI systems are set up right now won't yeah. work. So how can we get around that? Well, what we do is we have a principle or like an approach of what we call tiny AI, which means that instead of sending the data up to the algorithm, we're going to bring that algorithm up to the data. And so we are going to make sure that we have smarter algorithms that can run with much less data on much smaller uh, devices right where the data has been collected. So, which means that we're going to bring the intelligence on the device instead of putting the intelligence in the cloud and having it switch it backwards and forwards. That makes a lot of sense. So is use of tiny AI already um, fairly common or is that is, is this like brand new on the cutting edge? It's, it's pretty new because it comes with quite a lot of challenges, you know. Um, you have challenges that your hardware has to be prepared for it. It comes with challenges that the current algorithms that we have, they don't fit on these tiny devices. And it comes with challenges that the data sets that we currently need in order to get a certain accuracy in our predictions, that they don't fit. So we have to find smarter ways in all three angles. So it's pretty new. That's a pretty important message to share with uh, particularly a CES audience since here it's all about sort of building new devices, new sensors, new ways of generating and creating all kinds of data and you're helping to figure out ways to manage and make sense of it in a way that's I'll say economical. Uh, Absolutely, and that's the way forward. It's energy efficient and transparent. That's excellent. our point. Uh, point. Well, thanks for joining me, Mike. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, once again, this is Ligia Ricciardi with Carium here at the Digital Health Summit at CES 2020. Thanks.